I like the blah 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 sound. I don't like the ones where it be like <laughs> like this just sounds weird to me, and that's what my car sounds like right now. Okay, so we're gonna make a video here on <clears throat> fuel injectors on how to modify the data on fuel injectors when you just buy a, let's say a random set of injectors uh, that doesn't come with that great of fuel data. So the first thing, let's say hypothetically your factory injectors are 50 pound injectors and they flow at let's say 58 psi. Now if you were to modify the fuel pressure to 68 psi that's your injector flow. So with that being said you will buy injectors that let's say are 90 pound injectors at 48 psi now you need to come to this unit conversion and type in the factory fuel pressure 58 psi meaning these injectors are 98.93 psi now you will go over and you will type in over here 58 psi so 400 kpa so right around 400 you're at you know 52 53 so let's say the factory injector is a 52 pound injector which is exactly what this is so you have a 52 pound injector and let's go back here I lost this uh, number here okay so for So let's take your 90 pound injector, 48 psi, 58, okay, so 98, 93. Now you take this 98.93, divide it by 52. I'm sorry, that was the wrong, that was the wrong thing on here. 98.93 divided by 52. 1.9025. This is your multiplier. You grab this table, put the multiplier in, bam. So, sorry, 98.93, my bad. So if you look here, you got 98.93 at 400, which is right in between here. So, for most injectors, this is going to work properly. Um, you start getting the crazy builds and you need the injected da injector data. Now with that being said, I've had cars that are 700 horse naturally aspirated. I've had cars 700 plus horsepower boosted and I've never had an issue doing it this way. Uh, I mean, this is, uh, other companies will actually have information on how to do this this exact way. Now this is for a fourth gen computer. Okay, so and you'll be able to tell uh, because I will show you here okay third gen computer uh, third gen computer is a little bit differently um, this goes off of manifold vacuum and just has a flow rate so this vehicle is a 28 pound injector now that again is at 40 8 psi. Now that same 90 pound injector is 98.93 at 48 psi. So honestly, it's just 98.93. That's your injector flow rate. Now, obviously, I'm going to make a different video for it later, so it's not really going to help you right now. But you can only go so big on this. So This one actually lets you go up higher. Certain Gen 3s, you're not going to be able to go over like 80 or 90 pounds or some crap like that. Let's let's try to go higher and see if it lets us do it. Oh, this, so this one let us do it. Now, in that case, there's an entire other video that, uh, show, that I'm going to make that's going to show you how to modify your files so that you can run bigger injectors and the computer will let you. Now, this data is specifically used for... Um, when you have injectors that don't come with data, but you know what size they are and what pressure they run at. Um, so like I said, it's, it's, it's super simple. You just gotta bring up the unit conversion and you just take the data off it at 40, at 
90 pounds at 48 psi and then the factory vehicle runs 58 psi and that tells you your injector flow rate you want to make sure you double check this all the time because obviously <clears throat> if you have this information wrong 90 to 98 pounds is a big difference and you know if you just put it in as if they were 90s you're going to run way way more fuel than you should be running